Hey guys, this is Techno. If I sound a little sad, I'm sorry, or aggravated, it's probably because I am. This is the third time I'm, of me recording this video. Uh, first off, I want to say I'm sorry that I didn't post for the past two or three days or whatever, how long it's been. I've been under the weather and I didn't think you guys wanted to hear me sneezing over the mic. Um, and it's just been really bad with technology with me i can't even display my class that i'm using for you guys because for some reason the way i make my videos is i use the xbox one dvr and i upload those files to OneDrive, which i can then open up for my macbook and edit them in imovie i cannot get pictures to transfer to onedrive and i don't know why i literally went on my xbox downloaded the onedrive app and it's not working so maybe it's just the weather if my voice is cracking, it's because I'm still a little sick. Um, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys and explain a little topic that I'm talking about. While I was out, I heard that Logan Paul, a famous YouTuber, uh, recently made a video going to Okigahara Japan Forest and caused quite the controversy when I guess he chuckled at a an actual dead body um, hanging in a tree. Now, for those of you and for some of my friends who watch my videos, if you guys don't know what Okigahara is, it is actually commonly known as Suicide Forest for that name, like what the name implies. People go there with the intention to commit suicide. Um, and I guess Logan Paul never saw a dead body before or something. I mean, I haven't. <laughs> um seen somebody de decayed or anything like that but in Okigahara people go there and sometimes if they don't want to commit suicide they usually find themselves lost because it is a humongous forest and cell phone reception doesn't go out there and uh, compasses have been known to mess up because I think it's right by a volcano or a mountain of some sort it's a very beautiful forest but it has a dark past Many people go there with the intention to kill themselves because they suffer from depression, suicidal thoughts, or anything that can just cause someone to the breaking point of wanting to kill themselves. Now, before I go any further, I'm not meaning any disrespect to Logan Paul or to the person's body that was involved. I'm wanting to touch on a subject that really just kind of stands out from what I'm bringing out of this, and that is that this can be a lesson to him and his followers and friends to be careful what you post on the internet. I mean, if things go viral, chances are someone you know is going to see it. And you don't want to give them like a bad impression of yourself or the wrong idea about something. Nine times out of ten, if someone's going to take it out of context, there's going to be someone out there that will do exactly that. And... You know, you can sit here and say, no, I didn't mean that. No, I didn't mean this. Whatever is in their head that you meant by whatever you said, that's what they're going to take is their side of the story. But, I mean, I just think that this is a big lesson to be careful what you post. I mean, I don't expect this video. I mean, I've only got four followers on YouTube. But this is definitely something that, you know possibly could go viral it i don't think it would but let's say it did my friends my family they're probably going to see this and i don't want them to give them the impression that oh i'm siding with logan paul or oh i'm not siding with logan paul on this situation news people are talking about it i heard it was on the view or something and i mean he came out with an apology video saying that he shouldn't have even uploaded that video they shouldn't have even recorded he says he apologized to the person's body that was involved and to the person's body's family um and to anyone who suffers with mental illness or depression um and i probably already said it in this video but like i said if you guys are suffering from uh depression or mental illness please seek someone you help that you that you trust for help and also you can call the suicide hotline um, and I, I'm sure there's a bunch of other support groups because I have suffered from suicidal thoughts and mental depression. I've actually, uh, when I was in high school, I went to a teacher who I trusted and he helped me get in touch with a counselor who got in touch with my mom 
And I'm gonna tell you, when my mom found out that I was having suicidal thoughts, she wasn't happy. I was, uh, the reason why I was having them is because I used to be bullied. I was going through a bunch of problems at home. My parents were getting a divorce. It, it hit me pretty hard, all of it. And it was a lot of stress. So when it, they told my mom, of course she was sad, she was crying. So that's something to be expected if you guys do have um, suicidal thoughts. But the best thing is, is to just tell someone, even your parents even, they don't want to see you hurt. And if you let them know, I'm almost certain that they would help you. And if you don't think they would, you can go to somebody else that you trust and you know would be there for you. Um, I've gotten help with mine. I still receive help with mine. I am by no means immediately better but um with to be better it comes in with time but that's a whole nother story for a different video i want to stay on topic with this because i recorded this like three times um just the main the moral of the story is to be careful what you post online um i have a couple of family members that have posted something online and it caused like a whole family drama uh they didn't mean it but my family didn't want to listen to them so that whole spiel but that can happen to anybody and logan paul actually showed this now anyone that's you know possibly watching this just know what you say online cannot be taken away from some people who have seen it once it's there, it is there, just like this video, um, and, I mean, I'm probably just rambling on at this point, I don't know, like I said, recorded this a couple of times, my brain is fried, but I'm wanting to get this video out there to point that message out there, and once again, no disrespect to Logan Paul, I'm sure he is sorry about posting that video, or for people taking what he said out of context, but... And um, definitely no disrespect to anybody who has uh, mental illness or suicidal thoughts. Please seek help and please be careful about what you post online. But the end of the gameplay is here. Hopefully I'll have better content where I can edit and put my class in. But final score is 31 to 10 and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.